Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Pygame tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be doing is adding a pause functionality to our game. So the pause functionality is going to be a lot very similar to... Where is it? The game intro screen. So basically the pause, just we just want to run pause for as long as we're paused. And then when we're done, we want to continue on with the game intro. The only difference... Game intro? <laughs> game. The only difference is... With the game intro, um, actually, they're pretty much the same. So game intro just happens to run before game loop. But the pause functionality will just run within the game loop. So let's go ahead and um, we just copy and paste a game intro um, because we're cool like that. So come down here and just paste game intro. Awesome. And then we're going to change game intro to pause, and then intro to pause, and then we ask while pause, what do we want to do? Um, the only thing we're really checking for here, as far as keyboard events are concerned, is any sort of it's not even a keyboard event; it's really an exit out event. But if they axe out the window, otherwise, what do we want to do? Well, we want to fill with white. Um, that's fine. Instead of a bit racy, we'll just say uh, paused. Um, all of this is fine. Um, and then button can be uh, continue. That might be a little too big for our button, but uh, we can also stretch out the button. So instead of 100 pixels wide, it can be you know wider if we need it to. Let's see if that fits, but it's probably too fat. And then quit can remain because um, yeah because it can. And now what we'll do is instead of continue being game loop, continue should set... I'm trying to think of how I want... I wanted to do this very seamlessly, but now it's looking like we're in trouble. Continue should... because we don't want to restart the game loop. Basically we want to set pause to equal false. So I suppose right now we'll just make a function unpause. And no, we can't do that either. Man, you're really cramping my style of pause functionality. Um, hmm. I suppose it could be a function within here, game loop, maybe. I don't think so. Because we can definitely like press P to get out of pause. But I'm trying to think of how we would get out of this pause loop. Because um, we can definitely quit the game, that's not really a problem. But getting out of the pause loop, um, we could have like unpause. Unpause. Uh, but the problem there is I don't think we'll redefine pause equals true unless we had it like a global variable which we can I suppose hmm I don't know what you, let's see we can take pause we'll throw it up as a global that seems to be the best way about it and here, uh, while pause, that's totally fine. So unpause just needs to global uh, pause. And then unpause, pretty simple, pause equals a false. Easy enough. Continue. And let's just run unpause. That should work. Hopefully, we'll find out. <laughs> uh, fabulous. So. Continue, quit, pause, good. Now what we need to do is <clears throat> within game intro, we'll have to set, okay, I'm just trying to, it's hard because every time we set, it, pause will be false initially, like that. So then what we'll have to do is within, not game intro, game loop, um, Let's go ahead and global pause again. <clears throat> and then we'll come down to this point where we're checking for like keys. And we'll just put it 
right here. Actually, we'll, we'll go underneath this key down functionality. And we'll just say if event dot key uh, equals pygame dot k underscore p. And that should just be uh, like a lowercase p. That should uh, cover that. What do we want to do? Well, first of all, we need to set pause to true. And I think pause was undercase or lowercase, right? So we need to fix that. So we globaled um, pause, but we set to capital P. Let's undercase that. And now back to the P. Um, what we want to say is pause equals true. Then we run our pause function, which also might cause trouble. So let's call the function paused instead. That way that's not conflicting with the variable there. Um, this is quite the mess. OK, paused. And then we unpause by the global variable, which will, this is while pause, and this will global pause and turn it to false, as opposed to the game loop, which turns pause to true and then runs paused. So in my head, that works. Uh, we'll see what the world of programming says. And let's go ahead and play. P to pause. And now we have continue or quit. Let's try continue. And let's make sure that we didn't start over here. So we've got two things dodged. Let's go ahead and hit pause and then continue. And we're still continuing. So congratulations, folks. You did it. Um, the other thing we could do Although in this game, I just, wow, I feel like everything sped up really fast. <laughs> uh, anyway, oh, man, this is quite the challenging game. So, and then I'll check the quit, make sure quit works, but yes, of course it does. So we've done that. Now, um, that's neat. Now, so we've got buttons instead of requiring the user to press key, keys and all that nonsense. So the only other, the only major change I want to make now to this game would be that we need to have buttons. Where are you, block? We need to have buttons on the crash page because right now it's like time sleep two seconds or some nonsense. So now we want to add this sort of same button functionality um, to the crashed as well and have like replay or exit. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video, so stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.